What's up, everybody? This is Rich from True Budget ADC and Prepping. Use your gear, lose your gear, because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So today, I want to come on here, talk about something a little bit different, uh, talk about tool rolls. Uh, I know a lot of people in prepping carry tool rolls and ADC. Uh, surviving the daily, um, actually uh, had some uh, tool pouches on. Um, not for a while actually but he's uh if you go back through his videos he has a bunch of uh tool pouches and uh stuff like that so that's one person you can check out um i believe jake from uncommon edc has some as well uh so that's just a few channels that you can check out conan's edc conan definitely is all about tool packs and tool pouches and altoids tins so check out conan um but this is a little different video uh kind of trying to get off the beaten path of doing videos and doing you know about the same thing over and over uh with the uh trends and fads that goes on on youtube i actually have like live coming up in about an hour i'm gonna do about youtube fads uh so i want to do a quick video about uh you know something different so tool rolls now this tool roll i have uh got my truck it's not really all that you know serious there's not a lot of expensive stuff in here it's a budget tool roll that was sent to me by roaring fire i didn't even pay for this this was uh the Mini Pioneer, I did a video on this quite some time ago. If you go back to the videos, you can check it out for measurements and all that stuff. I'm not going to go over any of that. But it is wax canvas. It is in, I believe, they're moss colored. It's like an OD green. It's really cool. I like the way it looks. A little heritage uh, look to it. Super cool. Um, put together really solid. It does uh, have this, you know, pass-through uh, buckle. It gets it super tight. I mean, this stuff's not coming out of here. Uh, and then it opens up. You know to the full extent and uh it has a ykk zipper pocket over here and then it has some uh you know just random pouches right here that you can put stuff in mesh uh stuff so uh like i said i just started in my truck in case i need something i mean i have other stuff in my truck i have a vehicle kit so i have you know i'm still a certified first responder um i'm in the medical uh, reserve corps so i have trauma kit stop the bleed kit od kit and basically what i did is i put all this stuff in my fire department bag uh, my turnout gear bag because I'm not a fire department anymore, but I still have my bag, right? My wife bought it for me for a gift and uh, I use it for putting stuff in. So it's a it's a duffel bag. It's probably like 60, 70 liters. So I have this in there. I have a trauma kit, OD kit, stop the bleed kit, high vis jacket in the back, you know, stuff like that. And then underneath I have a bunch of survival stuff. Uh, another knife. Uh, it's the uh, Cold Steel GI Tanto. I have... Um, you know, fire starting stuff, shelter, blankets, all that stuff. So uh, this is just something I put in there in case, you know, m m not necessarily me, but maybe somebody else I know needs something. And they're like, hey, you know, I need a screwdriver and I might not happen to have one. I do have a uh, a bit uh, lever gear uh, driver in my, um, my EDC bag that I carry to work, my large EDC bag, but I don't always have my large one. And when I have my smaller one, I don't have as uh, much stuff in it, so I don't have any of that in there, actually. Um, so I have to rely on what's in my vehicle kit if I'm out and about. So I like to put this in there, so even if it's not on me, you know what, I'm prepared because I have it in the kit that's in my vehicle, and that's a good way to go. So I just have a, uh, a small uh, Rhodia notebook here. Uh, these are cool. This is a lined one. And uh, the dreaded pocket pen. Somebody, I got this, I think, from Gondek, and I've had it the whole time. And I put it in here just because I don't care if I lose it because I don't like these anyway. <laughs> so I got that in there just in case I happen to not have anything to write on uh, or write with. At least I got that in there. I can go in there. Although I have other stuff in my vehicle, but you never know, right? This is just a backup to a backup to a backup. And then you spin it around, this flap opens, this kind of just protects everything that's underneath here. And then this is basically what I have in here. I have some uh, paracord right here, just in case you need some cordage. I have a uh, a Coast HP1. It's just a small flashlight. It's like 200 lumens. Nothing serious. It's a double A. I have a pry bar, uh, spanner wrench, pancreas puncher. I call it the pancreas puncher. So I have that in there in case I need uh, some kind of a pry. Um, I just have a random Walmart. Uh, multi-tool in here nothing fancy because i don't need anything fancy i barely use this kit i just have it as a backup but you know what i just have it in there in case i need it um so it's always good to have something if you need pliers uh, i threw a small knife in here this is the holtzman gorilla uh scalpel so just you know what need a small knife i mean i usually always have a knife on me but you never know you might not one day and then you'll need one so i always carry an extra knife um just a small flathead screwdriver that i got in there uh also uh 
this is a four inch crescent wrench so those are useful in case you got to tighten something down you can use the pliers along with the crescent wrench to hold it if it keeps spinning um i just have a bunch of bits here uh to uh go along with this uh bit driver this is the i believe this is called the gray talent um i just got this on amazon for like 13 bucks and it came with all these bits uh i took one of them out i don't know what oh i put it in a different um it's in the lever gear thing but yeah so i have uh, uh just a bunch of bits um and uh yeah they all fit in here really good so i just have those in here and uh yeah if i need something i got these ready to go and uh it's got some pretty decent sized pockets back here so you can you know fit stuff in if you don't you're not careful you'll, you'll slide down inside and you'll think you lost it i also put this uh extender in there just in case i need it this is magnetic so this thing's pretty cool um bought this a long time ago this thing works really well and it'll, it's also a screwdriver so if you gotta use it that way you can so really cool um I like how that works out and um, I've used it multiple times and I put this in with it because like I said stuff slides down I had it in here and then it slid all the way to the bottom I forgot it was even in there and then I was like what is this inside here and it was that so over here I have a pocket in this pocket I just have uh, some hex you know or I mean Torx for uh, tightening knives uh, T8 T6 and then I have a file, this is aluminum oxide, in case I just have to sharpen something and I happen to not have something on me, um, I can use this. This is super fine, so you're just going to have to hone it. I mean, it's not really going to take any metal off, but it's better than nothing. And uh, I got this from uh, a shop that I used to work at a long time ago. So that fits in there really good. I mean, you don't have a lot of space in here, but you have enough to put some stuff. Because the more you bulk it out, you know, it's going to just bulk out. It's not going to close right. So I don't want to put too much. I mean, I still have, you know couple extra slots here uh i guess i'll jam some stuff i have a slot right here in the back i can get stuff in uh, next to the knife so it has quite a bit of space and then i still have the pockets that are made out of mesh then when you're ready to go you just flip it over fold it back up and uh go through it with this uh this pass through on this side actually it goes this way and like i said this gets it super tight if you wanted to like lock it down so you ain't got to worry about it it ain't gonna come out this is not definitely not coming out it's kind of annoying to do it but once it's done it's solid and you are good to go so this is the toolkit that i carry in my truck in my uh my just general bag that i have in the back full of stuff gear and whatever um the cool thing about putting it inside a larger bag is if something happened and you needed the whole bag you know you got your trauma kit in there you got your stop the bleed kit in there you got your od kit in there you got your tool kit everything's in one large bag so you can just grab it and go um so uh yeah i pretty much learned that from being in a fire department too I, all my turnout gear was in there with whatever tools i needed if i had to like hurry up and put my stuff on just take the whole bag out throw it on the back of the truck and go to do what i had to do so um it's good to have another bag to keep all this stuff in um but this is my tool roll small one like i said nothing fancy nothing expensive in here just some stuff in case i need it's more of a a backup to another kit a vehicle kit so um that's what i got what do you guys got for uh you know for kits for tool roll-ups, for vehicle kits, for emergency backup stuff. Let me know down in the uh, comments. And uh, you guys have a good Tuesday.